Reach and Rescue have been working alongside the Canal and River Trust for a number of years. Canal and River Trust's mission statement, making life better by water, fuels their desire to improve Britain's waterways, which includes their work to boost the safety of the public and to support the welfare of their volunteers whilst they maintain the canals. Reach and Rescue supports Canal and River Trust's mission by supplying water rescue equipment and by offering bespoke solutions that are specific to the needs of their volunteers, which enables them to work more safely. My name's Leon. I work for the Canal and River Trust, as you've just said. Uh, the Canal and River Trust is a, a charitable trust. We're very heavily focused on well-being, uh, customer safety, visitor safety. Uh, we manage a 2,000-mile network of canals, rivers, reservoirs, as well as uh, you know, other assets such as buildings, attractions, destinations, um, you know, lots of other assets. So my role as a, a team leader, um, I do a lot of planning, scheduling. Uh, I, I actually partake in the, you know, the, the, the work, the actual work itself. So I use these tools. In terms of planning and scheduling, it's, it's made my life, you know, tenfold easier because I, when I'm doing risk assessments and stuff, the, the manual handling assessments, they're a lot easier. Um, there's a lot of hazards that, that this thing eradicates, you know, the, this tool gets rid of a lot of risks. As I mentioned earlier, we, we maintain and upkeep um, four different canals and seven different reservoirs in the Greater Manchester area. So, you know, that, that comes, the, the, the tasks that we do, they're, they're widely varied, we, you know, the, every day is different, we, we do something different every week. Uh, we've got a daily routine of water control every morning and that means that, you know, we, we have to make sure the canals have enough water uh, or not too much. Um, we've got a number of trash grills on the uh, canals which need cleaning out. There's a lot of debris and because obviously Manchester's an urban environment, there's a lot of urban problems, litter and things like that. Tools that we've used previously, they, you know, don't get me wrong, they've done the job, um, but we always felt that there was a better option out there and that you know there, there could be improvements. And that and when we came to to reach and rescue, that's what we got. We got the better option. We've got a, a really strong piece of equipment that's lightweight, easily transportable. Um, and it, it, you know it's extendable. It, it it can get to, to to places that the tools we were using previously just couldn't get. So the the, the tool that I'm holding in my hand it's a modi modification of a keb um, or a fork or a, a drag rake. There's a, a number of different terminologies, but we've used them previously and they've had they've had wooden handles. They've been quite heavy, quite cumbersome, uh, and obviously they've got limited reach. This this improvement, this modification that Reach and Rescue have done. It's really helped us out. We, could, we can reach things that we couldn't reach before. It, it's very lightweight. Um, the team have really been, we've got some really positive feedback about the, the equipment. They're, they're really happy with it. Um, we're really, really pleased with our purchases. So it's helped us in terms of uh, keeping safe because we've, it's made improvements in our, our method statements and risk assessments. We have to do a manual handling assessment every time we do a job. This is really lightweight. Uh, we're not leaning over the water. Um, you know, it doesn't pose any kind of hazard in, in terms of manual handling. And so nationally, the trust have a, a bit of a motto uh, and we use that locally. And that motto is uh, cleaner, greener and safer. Um, and ultimately, that, what we're trying to do is keep the, the canals clean, green and safe for our customers. Now, this, this tool that I'm holding, uh, in terms of clean and green and safe, it, it does all three. We, um, it, it helps us clean the canals, clean the trash grills. If we're sailing on a boat, we can reach things that we couldn't reach before. We don't have to lean over the boat. We don't have to lean over the canal's edge. Um, it, it's really helped us in a, in a lot of ways. Yeah. So ultimately, you know, we, we've made massive improvements. This tool's made massive improvements in terms of safety and, and how we conduct our work. Um, so we're really happy with it. Reach and Rescue also supports Canal and River Trust in improving the safety of the public along Britain's waterways too. And we do this through the installation of our Port Safe Public Access Water Rescue Systems. Installation of a Port Safe usually coincides with a wider programme of transformation to make an entire area safer. So, as I said earlier, um, the Canal River Trust take the, the safety of their employees and the, the visitors and the customers and the, the public very seriously. Um, so, the, we've got a number of different projects and schemes revolving around water safety. Uh, we've got one down in Manchester, uh, we've got some in Greater Manchester, some in West Yorkshire, um, and we've bought some port safe boxes off Reach and Rescue. Now, these are really fantastic pieces of equipment. You can put a number of different items in them depending on the environment. They're very bold, it, you know, it states what it is. Um, everybody knows that they're there. 
So in Manchester, we've highlighted a couple of um, hotspots where, you know, Man Manchester's an urban environment. It's got a lot of bars, clubs, pubs. People go there when, it, you know, throughout the, when we're not in a pandemic, they'll go for a drink. Um, and they'll use a canal to get from A to B. Obviously, once you've had a drink, accidents can and, and do happen, unfortunately. So the, the Canal and River Trust are part of a water safety scheme, which involves a number of different bodies, such as the emergency service, the council, us, you know, a number of different people. Um, and, you know, due to, to accidents happening in certain areas on the canals, we, we felt there was a need to take, to take action and be proactive. Um, these port safes are a, a result of that. They, they provide us with a, a safe method of re trying to rescue people should any accident happen. So we, we've got our, our community engagement team who they, they're looking at, you know, what else can be done in that area to make the canal safe. So we're talking about lighting systems, um, signage, things like that. We, you know, there's, there's banners up. Um, we're really trying to trying to prevent these accidents from happening in the future. And and, and if they do, then you know things like the port safe will, will provide us with a, a good method of rescue. So as you can see, the port safes are, are highly visible. You know, they, they they've got big bold letters. It's quite clear what they are. Should anybody fall in the canal in these hot spots, um, anybody who's passing or anybody who you know who's there um, they can attempt rescue it's really straightforward the, you know there's, there's a step-by-step -step process on the board um, they simply ring the emergency services tell them what's going on they'll give them a code for the safe and then they can retrieve the piece of life-saving equipment and rescue the person that's fallen in so in manchester we've got um, a port safe and that's got a, a, an extendable pole in so should anybody fall in the canal um, they can retrieve this pole from the port safe um, and the, the pole extends, it can reach anywhere in the canal, so it doesn't matter where the, where the person is, um, the, the, the pole's got enough reach to get them out. Up on the reservoirs, obviously, um, you know, particularly in hot weather and things, people like to go for a swim. Uh, you know, swimming's not allowed, and you know, we take every step to try and prevent this, but obviously we can't be everywhere at once, so um, if people choose to ignore our advice, then uh, you know, an, an accident occurs, then these port safes are there, Again, everybody can see them, everybody knows what they are. Um, they'll have a throw line in the box, so should anybody fall in, uh, they bring the emergency services, retrieve the throw line, and they can rescue the person from the reservoir. The port safes are a, a really uh, innovative, good idea, because um, you know they, they're there for people's safety, they're there for the public safety, they're there for employees' safety, but they also, you know, the, the, the cords and the boxes, they, they prevent theft and vandalism. Um, you know, it'd be unfortunate if anybody ever got into an accident and, you know, somebody had stolen the, the equipment, the life-saving equipment that was inside. And, you know, this ultimately they save the organisation money because we're not constantly having to replace what's inside. Port Safe is the life-saving public water rescue system from Reach and Rescue, providing permanent access to effective water rescue equipment for members of the public and the emergency services. It can contain a long-reach telescopic rescue pole an emergency throw line or a combination of both, allowing swift, directionally accurate water rescue which is designed to retrieve casualties in the water from safe distances. It can be linked to 999 control rooms which gives the caller access to the unlock code for the box to release the life-saving equipment so they can then act on a rescue instead of waiting for emergency services to arrive. 